Here's a shot down the right sideline. It is caught. The game winner for Baylor. For Baylor, he's the man behind the microphone. The three. Or in front of the camera. The big game of the Big 12 this weekend is right here in River City. Or coming out of your car radio. Cast right here on ESPN Central Texas. Oh, in fact, John Morris might just be the busiest man at Baylor, but hey, that's just fine with him. I'm the caretaker of this position right now. It'll be handed off to somebody else somewhere down the line. It was the most embarrassing loss. But to me, Frank Fallon will always be the voice of the Bears. John certainly paid his dues. John Morris and Frank Fallon just a day before the Bears season opener. Tomorrow. Working eight years as an assistant to the legendary Frank Fallon, who spent 42 years behind the microphone for the Bears. Frank's son, Steve, remembers how his dad spotted something special in John. In fact, dad said that uh, he just had so much energy and was eager to learn. And we'll be working together again this year. Even today, uh, John sounds like he did back then. He's always enthusiastic, he's always friendly, he's always happy. Uh, and he had to go through some miserable years with Baylor, yet he still maintained an upbeat, positive attitude. How he did it, I don't know, but he sure is reaping the rewards now, isn't he? You go around the country and people just rave about Frank Fallon, and he certainly is a legend, and uh, John Morris is, uh, is also a legend, and we're, we're fortunate to have them back to back. For John, it's all in the Baylor family. You see his wife, Terry, a 1985 BU grad, daughter, Megan, check, diploma, other daughter, Maddie, well, she just got hers. And then there's the youngest, MJ, a former Midway football player, now a Baylor freshman. Everybody thinks that's just, you know, the coolest thing. To me, that's just everyday life. That's what we grew up on. John is now in season number 21 as the voice of the Bears, halfway to the legend Fallon this year. But add in a local radio show each day from 2 to 3 o'clock on 1660 ESPN Radio. And then every Friday, right here on KCN with the weekly Big 12 update, busy guy. And he does all the work and preparation himself. Ask somebody else if I'm overexposed. I don't know. But it, my wife would say that I never say no to anything, but but I do. There are things that I just can't do. So how long can John go? Well, Vince Scully with the Dodgers is entering season 67. High fly ball into right field. She is gone! Brad Sham has been with the Cowboys for four decades. And by the way, Tony Romo is coming in now at quarterback in mid-drive. One thing is for sure, whether he embraces it or not, he is the voice of the Bears and appears to be for generations to come. He, uh, to many people, is the face and the voice of uh, Baylor Athletics and just really a consummate professional, somebody who uh, everybody uh, really adores and, uh, and appreciates. John isn't going anywhere. He's, uh, he's too good. So I think uh, that there'll be a John Morris legacy uh, every bit. Uh, as popular as uh, my father's was, he'll be the next one. That voice and that smile <laughs> and that humility <laughs> sure are recognizable. So aren't we lucky to have him, Central Texas? And as John likes to say each week, enjoy the games. More next week. I'm John Morris for KCEN HD Sports. We'll enjoy them all, John. We just hope that we can enjoy them as much as you seem to. Chris Radcliffe, KCEN HD News.